My name is Martin, and I am here at the Garn Test Facility in Arden Hills, Minnesota. And in this video segment, we're going to show you how to assemble the um, motor mount gasket and the blower wheel and the motor mount plate onto a motor. When you get to Garn, you have to assemble this and mount it onto the, the Garn unit proper. So we're going to go through the procedure to do this. Right here, we have a, a motor. This happens to be a three-quarter horse motor. And it's the motor that's standardly shipped with our units right now. Uh, a couple of points of interest, it has a high temperature bearing and it's got a stainless steel shaft. Uh, all our motors are tested at Garn. They're pre-wired, they're set up for the right voltage, and they're tested to make sure that everything's okay before they leave the factory. So when you get your Garn unit, you're going to get a motor. You're going, and, and along with the motor, you're going to get a motor plate, a, a kit that has a couple of plates, some bolts, an Allen wrench, and a key. And you're also going to get a blower wheel that has an Allen wrench and a gasket. And all these components together form the blower assembly. If your motor comes shipped with a black gasket on the shaft like this, remove the gasket. It's a rubber gasket and that gasket will degrade, may even smoke when that shaft gets hot. And the shaft, as you know, runs in the exhaust stream, so we don't want that there. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the shaft and examine it, make sure it's clean. It should be clean. But we are going to buff it just a little bit to make sure that there's nothing on it. The way we do that is we, we uh, activate the motor and use a little bit of emery cloth uh, to clean the shaft. And I'm going to turn the motor on, hold it so it doesn't torque, and just lightly buff this shaft like this. That's all that it takes. And you'll note that how nice and polished and clean that shaft looks. The motor spacer ring has three, four holes in it you will note. And the front of the motor has four tapped holes. The spacer ring just slides on the motor and aligns, out, aligns up with the four tapped holes. Doesn't matter which orientation, it's all the same. It's totally symmetrical. The next thing is the motor mounting plate. Now when we put the motor mounting plate on, we want the recessed holes upward, like this. Okay, so that when you place it on top of the motor, the recesses, you can easily see the recesses. Now an important thing here is you want this flat to align between the cord and the flat that's on the motor, on the back end of the motor. You can see it flat on the back end of the motor and this cord. Believe it or not, there is a top to this motor and it is marked in the housing on the side. So after you get this aligned, you have four socket head screws, look like this. You put one in each of the four holes and you just tighten them down finger tight for the time being. Then you take the Allen wrench that's provided with the kit and you very gently, not very tight, you start working these down into the countersink and you do opposites just like you would on a car tire when you're remounting a tire on a car. You always, always go to the opposites like so. And that, the, the tapers in here center this plate on this motor. Then you come back and you tighten these. There's one and I go opposite. Here's the other. Then I'll take this one, go opposite, and that is here. And you want those to be fairly tight. The next thing you do is unwrap your gasket. Now, the, the holes around the perimeter of the motor mounting plate are odd spacing, and they're odd spacing so this can only mount on the Garn unit in one direction, one orientation. So, this gasket also has the odd spaced holes. So if you put this down on here, and all the holes don't line up, you just pick the gasket up, turn it over, put it back down, and then all the holes should line up, okay? The next item 
is we're going to take some high temperature uh, compound, anti-seize compound, and we're going to brush a little bit on the shaft. You want to get it around the shaft as best you can and in the keyway. This will prevent the blower wheel from sticking in the future. The final step before you put the wheel on is there's a keyway that goes in on the shaft to prevent the, the um, blower wheel from sliding on the shaft. And what you do is you put that keyway in position, but you leave the key proud of the face of the shaft. And you do that for alignment purposes. Now let's take a look at the blower wheel itself. Uh, when you get the blower wheel, the uh, bore of it should have been cleaned before it was assembled, uh, before we sent it out, but you can re-clean it if you want, but there is some anti-seize in there. You don't have to do that. We'll just show you how to do that. And you can put more anti-seize in here, although anti-seize was put on before packaging the equipment together. Here I want to show you the back of a typical Garm blower wheel. Notice that the cast iron hub, that's the hub, sticks through the back of the wheel about a quarter inch, maybe three sixteenths of an inch. When I put this wheel on this gasket, I'm going to have this hub, face of the hub, touch the gasket, and then I'm going to lift it so there's a sixteenth inch of a clearance between this hub, face of this hub, and the face of the gasket. And we carefully, carefully align the key and the shaft. This, this takes a little bit of practice. There we go. Down just like that. Now, right now the blower wheel is setting right on the gasket. That's what we don't want. We want to lift that hub up ever so slightly, just a sixteenth of an inch, so that the blower wheel clears the gasket. Then we want to use the 532nd Allen wrench that's supplied with the blower wheel, and we want to tighten the two set screws. Now the set screws are 90 degrees apart. One tightens on the key, the other one tightens 90 degrees to that. After you tighten it by hand with the long section, go back in and tighten it really tight. And it may take several tries to do this. You want this nice and tight. just like that. And you're going to go back and like that. And your wheel should turn free, which it does, and it shouldn't be touching the gasket. It should be up just, you should just be able to see light between the back side of the hub and the top of the gasket. And that is all there is to the assembly of the blower assembly.